Good afternoon, everyone. Several species of birds have not left the nesting grounds in Fraser Island, Australia to return to the Arctic. As well, two species of Himalayan birds overwintering in Sri Lanka have not returned to the Himalaya mountains. We might want to ask ourselves, why are these birds not returning north this year? Starting off with the Indian pita and the black naped oriole, these two species of migratory birds usually head out in March and fly back into the central Himalaya. This year, no such thing is happening. They've decided to stay where they are. Beautiful birds. Wow, incredible colors on these. They're not following the normal migratory path. As well as what's interesting is they've found five new species that were not seen last year that have suddenly turned up in the exact same spot. Jumping to the other side of the planet in Canada, the bird migrations were delayed by cooler than normal weather. A lot of the ponds had ice over frozen and snow still on the hills there. Seems since May, a lot of this has melted off and the birds are migrating, but just as it was delayed crop planting, the migratory seasons of the animals are starting to change by this cooler weather pattern we're starting to experience across the planet. Quick look at where Ottawa is. Most interestingly, the goodwit, also known as the sandpiper, and the common tern overwinter in Fraser Island, but this year the migratory species has not left to return to the Arctic in Siberia. Both of them are staying put. Strange as that sounds, here's a look at the migratory maps, usually where they end up inside the Arctic Circle to nest during the summertime in June, July, and August. Quick peek at Fraser Island, Central Australia there. Interestingly though, birds within Australia are not migrating either in the normal pattern this year. The yellow-faced honey eater should be already flying from south to north, but it is not. So I ask you, what's happening with the bird migrations across the planet? Are they feeling something in the magnetic field? Do they sense something that the weather is cooling and they will not be able to survive the colder weather that comes earlier in the normal nesting areas? Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030 and I'll keep the stories coming to you.